Yo, hey, what's going on boys? So these are going to be just some basic tips that you can use to make your power level go up or just have an easier time in Save the World. So number one, you can go to your armory, schematics, and over here you're going to have some weapons. So like let's say you're going to have a, a Terminator or just any weapon uh, that you're using, any trap that you're using, pretty much anything that you're using. What you want to do is to immediately start leveling it up at the moment you can. Because here's the thing, like, so for example, I don't want this uh, tar pit, for, for instance. Whoops. Uh, which one is better? I mean, this one just has durability. So you know what? I don't like this too much. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade it. I'm going to I'm gonna even evolve it. Let's level it up some more. All right. So as you can see, this tar pit over here, or like, first of all, let's look at this one. So this one, let's recycle it. Um, well, you can collect that, they'll also count as a recycle. Uh, so, as you can see, I can get 750 schematic XP and 25 trap designs. But if you look over here with this tarpit that I just upgraded, if I collect it, I also get the pure drops of rain that I used to evolve the weapon in addition to the schematic XP, in addition to the trap designs. Basically, the moment you can level something up, just do it. Uh, be warned, however, that when you level something up, it requires different items. So, for example, this one uses rusty mechanical parts in addition to quartz crystals, while this one uses uh, simple mechanical parts, uh, parts in addition to quartz crystals. Uh, beyond that, it, nothing else uh, changes. So, as you can see, it uses seven rough ore, two quartz crystal. Same thing goes for upgrading pretty much anything else. So, yeah, like now I'm going to collect this thing, confirm. And I just get all my schematics back, uh, or XP back, and uh, yeah. Alright, so tip number two is to get a Outlander hero. Now what is that? Well, if you go to Heroes, you go to Manage, you can see I have this uh, character called Casey Lip Lipman, or Hero, or whatever. She is an Outlander. So is this one. Now what's an Outlander? Well, you can see it right here. This character is an Outlander. For example, this was a soldier. It's uh, written right here what the character is. And the reason Outlanders are good is this anti-material charge you can hold your pickaxe then right click and you will punch forward destroying structures and harvesting their materials uh deals 940 uh, you know the rest of it is kind of irrelevant because you don't really want to use it as a offensive skill but you could uh but here's the best part with casey and i also forgot to say one more thing uh in the zone will give you uh, more pickaxe damage, more movement speed if you do five conse consecutive hits with a pickaxe on any, you know, uh, thing that you can use it on. Uh, not sure if it works on mm, husks now that I think about it. But anyhow, the reason you might want to get Casey uh, Clip Lipman is that she has high caliber harvest as her commander perk or her standard perk. Her commander perk uh, basically makes it like if you use her as your, as your commander she will get or she will give you a hundred percent chance to drop additional ingredients so for example if you use this on a car or anything you're guaranteed an additional item uh as follows all right so this is a tree and to demonstrate the anti-material charge in addition to uh having the character that i just told you about you can right click and as you can see, I just got uh, nine planks and one adhesive resin. I would have gotten fewer planks otherwise. So let me just quickly see how much, how many planks I can get if I just break it normally. I might, I might not get any. Yeah, I didn't get any. Um, but yeah, I mean, you would get more, no matter what. As you can see, here, I got three simple twine, four planks. You can try this by yourself. Now this does lead me to another tip, which is if you're in home base defense, do. Uh, keep in mind that when you build something in here, like let's say I put this here, or this the stairs, what's going to happen is it's going to actually be in the, uh, you know, uh, if you click expand storm shield, you've done this before, probably in the tutorial and so on. Uh, that thing is actually going to show up in any future uh, storm based defense that I do. But if you start the defense so if I if I click on this expand storm shield and I go on uh, what's gonna happen is if I place something that's only gonna be placed for that specific mission so just be sure that you actually 
place everything, place these traps and so on, because remember, they will actually come back. As you can see, it has 33 out of 33 usages, and uh, yeah, you wouldn't be wasting anything by placing at least a few traps before the husks show up. And yeah, it might not be, uh, they might not be in the perfect spot, but at least you didn't waste any, and you're gonna need to keep them, because like, in a while, I'm gonna have to place some more amplifiers or whatever, and I'm gonna have to uh, build everything again if I didn't already play some of this stuff. But now, I mean, I don't need to worry about anything. I can just start the mission and, for example, this entire direction would be safe. I don't have to replace every single build. I don't have to do anything, any of that. So yeah, just make sure that you build everything before uh, starting your defense. Alright, so this tip will require the collection book and this is how you can get some really nice heroes or really nice weapons. For example, you can go to event schematics, and you might have heard of some good weapons like, I don't know, the double boiler. So this is a weapon that I use. Uh, it's a shotgun that has two shells in it, but it does ridiculous damage, even uh, without upgrading it too much. Uh, so you can research this schematic using a weapon research voucher. Now, how do you get a voucher? Well, you can get one weapon voucher by doing ventures. So you can go to this venture zone and uh, level up to 13 you'll get one voucher it does take some time but you are guaranteed at least one voucher uh, a really good weapon i would recommend the double boiler but of course uh anything else works uh, you could also get uh where was it you can get the xenombo you might have heard about it this thing is busted but i do think that it does require um a three-star evolution and you can only do that after reaching canny valley so yeah, you might want to not get this thing as your first uh, collection book item with your voucher. And uh, since I mentioned Casey Clip Lipman, I think it was under event people. Um, yeah, home base heroes. There we go. So Casey Clip Lipman, there she is. I don't think that you can get her in an easier way. So you could actually just recruit her with a hero recruitment voucher. I already have her, so I'm not gonna obviously not gonna recruit her again. But you could use uh, one of these vouchers, which I'm assuming most players start with at least two, but I'm not 100% sure. But if you do have any, do get her. She's a very good uh, starting character because you can gather a lot of materials very easily uh, using this character. Alright, so for another tip, uh, you can go to survivors, uh, either manager squads, kind of doesn't matter. Because what you're going to do is pick anything that you're interested in, for example, offense, it increases your damage. And you can, you can see how it increases ranged and melee weapon damage by 1% per point. So I have 560, that means plus 560% damage, which is 5.6 times whatever damage you, you would have done. And what you want to do is click, for example, this guy, click upgrade and inspect, and then just level him up as much as possible. Remember that you can recycle these people uh, once you kind of use them already. I can collect this person, for example, and I would get all the evolved material, all the XP that I used to level the uh, survivor up. So don't worry about wasting anything, just level them up and when you get a better one later on, you can for example recycle this one and just uh, put her in the squad or, or take all of the XP from her, give it to a better character. All right, and for a final tip, do your quests. Just finish the main quest line. If it wasn't already obvious, you want to finish these quests because they unlock so many different things in fact, some of the stuff that I showed you might not even be accessible to you. For example, the survivor, the entire survivor tab, uh, maybe even the upgrade tab, maybe even the research tab. So, the, I mean, you can just use this to boost your damage or anything just like that. I mean, look at this weapon damage by 22%. Uh, just like that. I mean, there's nothing special about this. You just kind of leave it and it will get you these research points by itself. And then you can double yourself up and, you know, among the other things, I mean, you you might not even have the collection book. You probably do, though. Uh, but storage, for instance, is something you can only get if you uh, get the upgrade for storage access. So, yeah. Make sure that you do your main quests. Get as far as possible. Uh, you can take your time off uh, doing maybe some uh, venture quests. You can click on this whole thing here. You can do hit the road, imposter. This will, this will give you this character, this ninja. I don't know, he doesn't look like a ninja, but it will give you this character. And of course, if you're watching this, when this event is over, you'll get something else. So, yeah. 
uh, do your main quests, and uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and leave a like and subscribe if you could, if you enjoyed this, if this helped you out. And that's about it. Goodbye.